Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's episode, we'll be cooking a very simple but yummy recipe called bok choy with tofu. In Filipino, we call this ginisang pechay at tokwa. This dish is very budget friendly as it cost me only 30 pesos to make this recipe. My mom has cooked for us, her family, all her life. Until one day, Alzheimer's disease took away all her recipes, but not in my heart. Sharing her simple yet delicious recipes to all. Ma, this is for you. So this is the vegetable that we're going to use. It's called bok choy or in Filipino, we call it native pechay. So this is very cheap. It only costs 15 pesos for two bunches or dalawang tale, 15 pesos lang. And we're going to cut this into two, the white part and the green part. To start with, on a hot pan, I heated some 1 fourth cup of cooking oil and then I uh, sliced into squares a tofu. This tofu or tokwa in Filipino and I'm going to fry this on both sides. It's up to you if you want this uh, fully fried or fully cooked uh, but for me, it's my preference that uh, I want it just brown and toasted on the outside but still uh, soft and um, moist on the inside yeah. so we'll wait for this uh, to brown on both sides after a few minutes when you think it's ready then you just drain the tofu and set this aside so on the same pan where you fry the tofu I left around 3 tablespoons of oil and then I'm going to fry some three cloves of garlic chop. Okay, so actually it's not fried, it's called sauteing. Yeah. So in Filipino we call it gigisa. And then after that, uh, one onion that I chop. Okay, so we're going to saute or gisa it for a few minutes until it turns translucent. Okay, so after a few minutes, I'm going to add three tomatoes that I slice. And then uh, make sure that you will fully cook the tomato. So this will take some time. And then after that, we're going to put our next ingredient. So this is how it looks like when the tomatoes are fully cooked. Okay, we're going to bring back the tofu that we fried a while ago in oil. Okay, so I like my tofu a little bit bouncy and not to fry. But it's up to you if you want your tofu or tokwa to be fully fried. Um, it's up to you if that is your preference. And then I'm going to add 5 tablespoons of oyster sauce. So I'm putting 5 tablespoons of oyster sauce for 2 bunches of pechay. So you just adjust depending on the amount of um, pechay leaves or bok choy that you want to add. Okay, so after the oyster sauce, we're going to add 1 cup of water. Okay, so we're going to uh, boil this and simmer this so that all the ingredients will be incorporated. And then I'm going to add, this is the white part of the uh, pechay or bok choy. So this is the hardest uh, part of the uh, vegetable. So we're going to cook this first for a few minutes. Okay, there. So, after a few minutes, this is how it looks like. It uh, wilted down just a little bit. And then, we're going to cover this. Okay, so afterwards, uh, we're going to season this with a little bit of salt. 
to taste. Okay, and if you want to, you can also add pepper. Okay, and then next, we're going to add the green leaves. Okay, so this is the second part of the bok choy or native pet chai. Okay, and then we're going to cover this so that uh, the leaves will wilt. Okay, so after a few minutes, this is how it looks like, and we're going to just mix this all together and remember also to taste the sauce before adding any more seasoning okay so there this is my um, recipe our native pet chai with uh, tofu and we're now ready to uh, plate them Okay, so on a nice plate, we're going to put our uh, recipe for today, our bok choy or native pet chai with tofu. It's a very simple recipe but very delicious and most importantly, a very healthy dish. Yun. So there you go. This is my simple recipe for today. Thank you for watching. Till our next episode. Bye.